Hey everyone, it's Rita with Everything Homemade and in this video I am going to walk you through the very first maintenance that I do on the tomatoes every single year. I'm also going to give you some hints and some really good suggestions on how to grow beautiful tomatoes in a very short growing season. I'm in northern Alberta, Canada, so our growing season is super short. We're zone two and that means we basically have maybe to the end of May to get everything in. Sometimes the beginning of June because that's when our last frost is. And then we have till the end of August. And sometimes even then we have frost by August 20th and sometimes we have a longer growing season into September. So really, we're very, very short. And with that, we need to make the best out of our growing season and get a large amount of tomatoes in a very short time. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my greenhouse. We got lots of tomatoes to maintenance in here. Then I'm gonna take you to certain parts around the yard and I'm going to maintenance those tomatoes as each variety looks a little bit different. And so you can see how I do it for every single variety of tomato that I grow. So the first thing we're going to do is head into the greenhouse. So first of all, let's take a look at what I have growing in this greenhouse. Now I call this a tomato greenhouse because really that's what I grow is all tomatoes in here. But in the very back, I do put usually some kind of squash or watermelon or melon. And this year I am growing Siberian watermelon. And as you can see, they're just vining up to that first um, section there. And then we can have them vining here and here. And then the fruit just sits on these racks that my husband built. So we're not going to talk too much of the watermelon, but just so you know when you see it on screen, that's what they are. So it is June 2nd right now and what we need to do with these tomatoes is basically do some leaf removal. Now when I do leaf removal, I do leaf removal because I want the plant to focus on fruit and not just making leaves. A lot of times tomatoes will just start bushing out as you can see here. Right now they look beautiful and most people don't even worry about touching them right now. They just let them grow. But we really need to start removing some leaves because right in the center as you can see on this one look at that it's starting to flower that's where the tomatoes are going to start to grow so we want these plants here to focus on getting this fruit set and not continuously making a whole bunch of extra leaves and you can see it on this variety as well the variety in my greenhouse right in the middle are indetermined tomatoes means they grow on forever while the ends of my greenhouse are indetermined tomatoes so they only get three feet tall. I do this because the shape of the greenhouse right now so while the tomatoes will grow up to here on the sides up to the first bar right in the middle we have a peak and that's where the indetermined tomatoes will grow and I can basically grow them to the roof right in the middle and then on the other side again are the are the determined tomatoes and in the middle I have this um, just snow fencing so when my indetermined tomatoes do grow up I can actually attach them to the snow fencing but that won't be for another maybe couple of weeks to a month but right now let's take a look at this one right here this is a Hungarian heart tomato plant and it's looking beautiful it's got these huge gorgeous leaves a nice thick stem I started all my tomatoes and uh, but we got some leaves down here 
and some leaves going off the pot and you can see it's starting to um, come out with more leaves and this is actually this leaf right here coming out will actually bear blossoms so if you want tomatoes lower down you want to keep them if you want to clean up this stem then we want to focus on the blossoms up here so that's what I'm going to do. I like making my tomato plants in little trees. So what I'm going to do is do this one for you and then I'm going to work on each variety and show you because every variety looks a little different. So what I'm going to do is just take my thumb and my finger and I'm just going to go down and what that does is just take that leaf off. The other thing, the other reason why I clear this stem is because when I water, right now when I take my nozzle, I'm hitting these leaves because you never want to water on top, like you never want to just sprinkle water on top because it can harvest um, mold, it can easily grow and, and that's not really good. And if you remove the leaves from the base, these leaves won't touch the ground and therefore no molds or you know if you're if you're not growing in pots then what's going to happen is the slugs like to eat your tomatoes and so i'm just going to clear all these leaves here pull a little bit of weeds because my my dirt here is what is our compost so sometimes there's a little bit of weeds and you can see already that I started to clear this stem now it'll be a lot easier to water around this tomato plant but I'm gonna go a little step further I'm gonna go even a little higher I'm gonna remove that leaf and I am going to remove this leaf as well so now it looks like a little top here like a little tree and I'm actually going to remove this one now that's pretty aggressive um, taking off those leaves but in turn what's going to happen with this plant and that's why I said it looks like a little tree is that it's now going to focus all its energy right here it's going to these are going to open faster it's going to start growing taller because remember on, in the middle are indetermined it's not going to put that effort into into these leaves right here it's going to start putting that effort into getting um, these blossoms open and fruiting and continue to to grow and fruit and I'm going to continue to do that so as this grows What's going to happen is this is an extra leaf right here. As this gets taller and taller, I'm going to keep the fruit, but I'm going to continue to take the leaves off. I'm always going to leave the tops. So let's do one more. Let's do this one right here. This is a nice big guy right here, beautifully bushed out. And let's just quickly um, deleaf this stem right here. And you can see this stem was even touching the ground or you can see this stem was even touching the dirt and that's a big no-no when it comes to to tomato leaves because it can harvest so much um, molds and bacteria that can kill your plant so you want to remove those for sure and just then get the extra little um, shoots here And then that is it. So I'm going to leave this, these beautiful leaves, this one here, right at that top. But I have cleared that stem. That's looking really good. Now let's take a different variety here that looks a little bit different. So this is Mountain Princess, and you can tell how, you know, the the it's shorter it's a little more compact of a plant than those indetermined kinds same thing you know what this leaf right here you can tell look at it it's touching the dirt which again is not good so we're gonna take that one off and the determined tomatoes that I grow on the side of my greenhouse I will tie them up and I will show you how to do that a little bit later but the biggest thing right now while the tomatoes are small is getting these leaves off cleaning up this tomato plant there you go so it focuses on growing 
um, up and the fruit up on top and not so much on you know being big and bushy but really focusing on fruit production so it's gonna kind of look like that and there's a little bit of a of a shoot right there I'm just gonna clean it up and right here and take a look at that so again a little tree so let's just do that one more time so same variety I like showing this twice just because sometimes tomatoes look tomato plants look always a little bit different so I'm just taking those leaves off bending them down and that'll be it for this one here just like that so now when I'm done this I'm gonna let them you know have a couple of weeks grow some more and then I'm going to show you another video with another maintenance so this will be the first video um, that I'm gonna show you on some tomato maintenance and again here are the blossoms so this is June 2nd, so in two weeks I'll, I'll video this again and, and show you the results of all this leaf pruning. So the other thing about tomatoes, remember I said I'll give you a little hint. Never ever let your tomato plants dry out. Never. You know, sometimes you can let, you know, flowers and other things dry out, but tomatoes, that is your worst nightmare. It can cause blossom and rot, and tomatoes hate being dry. Every morning, whether I see that the soil is, is dry or not, I will water. Every morning, these pots get watered. If it's super hot, I will do it in the afternoon, and as they get bigger, they require more water. But every morning right now they get watered in the morning religiously like I do not skip a day they get watered and that is one of the biggest problems that people have is is not giving their tomatoes that constant water and it will definitely affect in fruit production and the health of your tomato plants. Now, my tomato plants are actually grown right into compost. This is 100% grown compost and uh, they do fantastic. So they got lots of food in here for the growing season. If you don't, you want to feed your tomato plants. So don't forget they are, are very, very heavy feeders and you want to make sure that you're feeding them with some good fertilizer fertilizer and if you can go all natural great if you can't see what you can get in the garden stores near you so the biggest thing here water 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 never forget to water your tomato plants okay let's look at another variety so let's look at a Roma tomato plant and I have these are huge um, containers so I have four growing in them so let's take a look here and you can see again they're starting to get those beautiful side shoots but I want this stem clear so when I tie them up I can easily tie them up um, and let's just do the exact same thing remove those leaves so it looks like a little tree so I'm gonna leave this leaf right here because it's sort of right at the top I don't want to really remove this this one um, and let's do another one here right beside it you can see here I'm just going to remove the dirt a little bit you can see that it's even creating shoots right near the base and I really don't want that at all There you go. And so I'm just leaving this, this top right here. And as we go back to the other one, you can see that there's, again, little buds right here starting to, to um, grow. So, so we're really, really at a critical stage that you really want to do this. So again, so that tomato plant can focus its energy on tomatoes and not just growing all these beautiful leaves. But we do remember don't take all the leaves off because the tomato plant does need those leaves for you know to create photosynthesis and, and food for the plant but what we are is directing the tomato plants energy into making tomatoes more than just leafing out all the time 
So let's just step out of our greenhouse for a moment here because I've got more tomatoes actually just on the side of the greenhouse right here looking out towards the dugout and that's where you're hearing the birds and stuff because they're out here just having a great time in the in the morning sun by the dugout so that's what you're hearing in the background so let's take a look these tomatoes here are tumblers tumblers also need to have their leaves removed as well but you can see that their leaves are more feather like all the way across here outside here in pots but the same thing what I'm going to do here with these guys is I'm going to remove the bottom leaves that are touching the soil again in pots here and even if you had these planted outside you really want to remove them so I'm going to remove this one as well down here now these ones are a little bit tougher than the ones in the greenhouse so I'm just going to move it around like that and it's gonna be a really hot day today. Look at that. Okay. Hey, so just just like that. So I'm just going to remove a few of these because these are tumblers. They actually only grow a foot tall and then they will cascade over my pot. So I don't want to remove as much as I did with the variety in the greenhouse. Just the leaves that are touching the the soil. Those are the ones that I want to remove. So let's do another one. This one right here. Again, I want to get these ones that are a little bit lower and you can see it curl over and touch here and again that's just going to harvest a whole bunch of mold and bacteria growing and even if slugs want to come up here that's going to just attract them so we really don't want that we really want to just clean that up now if this leaf becomes a problem in the future I will take it off but again my main goal here right now is literally just to clean up the leaves that are touching just because this variety is so much shorter and I don't need to tie these up like there's no staking there's no tomato cages they're just gonna grow and tumble over so I'm gonna do that to the rest of these tumblers right here that are down this greenhouse I got a, quite a few pots to go and if you're wondering what these are that is growing beside it they are actually signet marigolds they're one of my favorite they will actually bush out this entire pot and bloom hundreds of yellow flowers so I want um, so it's going to look really pretty in about a month when all of these um, signet marigolds reach their full size and then I'll have red cascading um, tomatoes off the side so it should look really good after I show you um, in about a month so I'm going to continue doing the maintenance on these so let's go take a look at a few more varieties on the other side of the yard so we're here at Meadows Garden Meadow come come show them your tomato plant come here Meadow's my four-year-old. She's the youngest out of my six and she's going to show them, show them your tomato plant. Isn't that beautiful? Yes. Yeah, do you like eating tomatoes? Yes. Yes? Okay, so we're going to do that same maintenance that I've been showing you on her tomato. Now I have a cage over hers because hers is a bush cherry and I want it a little more upright even though really a bush cherry doesn't need a cage but it's a little easier for my four-year-old to pick. So Meadow, watch what mommy's gonna do and then you do it with mommy, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna take the leaves from the very bottom of our tomato plant and we're going to just kind of press them down and take them off, just like that, okay? So you do that to this one right here. Oh, you're an expert, look at that. So we're gonna remove some of your leaves, Meadow, so they don't touch the ground and get all moldy and and we don't want any slugs to um, get to them, okay? And so if you can see, this one didn't rip off real nice and that's okay. I'm just gonna slide this down and rip it at the bottom. You didn't kill your tomato plant, actually. That was a good thing that happened to show you. It's okay. Um, I always tell my kids to try not to do that but sometimes it just doesn't work it just happens so this looks really good look at that and what do you see here meadow flowers, flowers. so you're gonna have tomatoes starting to set soon There's be gentle a flower right yeah they're here. the flowers 
Awesome. And she has a little bit of what meadow? What are these growing? Peas. Yeah, you got little peas in your garden. They're going to vine up this tomato cage, right? No, about two. Yeah? And what do you have growing here? Some carrots. Carrots. Oh, awesome. This is going to be such a beautiful little garden for you, hey? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to show everybody else how to do some other varieties, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is the exact same variety that Meadow has in her garden. And again, I'm just, I'd am just i like to show you twice on two, two tomato plants. Again, you can see the side shoots right here. It's really low to the base. So we're just going to take them off. Did you want to help me? Yes. Okay, awesome. Yeah, just press down. Yep, yeah, just like that. Okay, did you want to take this one off too? Yeah. Can you take that one off? Good job. Okay, just pull up. Yep. Yeah. And then, then we'll grab this one. Okay. So again, I'm just going to leave that top. This part here will heal up real quick. And uh, this tomato plant is also done. Do you want to get this one now? Yeah, but you, you know what you can do while I continue to film here, Meadow? Is you can continue to take the leaves off just like this. Just like this one. So you go ahead and you leave the tops, okay? Mm -hmm. Can you do that? Mm -hmm. But try to, when you do it, let's try not to have this... Um, that string, or try try not to hurt, hurt the stem like that. Try to go down and then pull up. Okay, mm -hmm. go down a little bit and pull up. Oh, that easy. Yeah, that one was. So again, here, metal. Yeah. So again, here, watch. Go down and then pull up, and that helps helps these pop off a little bit. So you get this one, and then you got to leave this top. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good girl. Oh. You're doing a fantastic, oh look at that, fantastic job. Good job. Okay, do the next one. She's such a good helper. Okay, so we have the bush cherry right here outside. This is some more bush cherry. These are some petunias that I have growing. And then I, there's some nasturtiums. And now we also have the yellow tumblers are right here. Now, uh, the, remember we had the red tumblers by the greenhouse? These are yellow tumblers across the other side of the yard. And again, because they're tumblers, we're just going to snap off just the bottom here just to clean it up. And I'm going to leave all the rest. And you can see that it already wants to kind of tumble over the this side of the pot and it is already opening up so we're going to just clean that up and you can see leaves touching the soil here once again we're going to tidy these plants right up so they also put their energy into those blossoms but keep those um, leaves off this dirt and it'll make watering a lot easier now the last variety that I'm going to show you is called Red Robin. These are only a foot tall and we need to do a, the same maintenance. But again, because they're only a foot tall, they don't need any staking. And we are just looking at taking the leaves that are touching the soil once again. So we're going to just remove these leaves. So it looks something like that. And I'm just going to take this one off as well so now you got little trees right there nice little cleanup and the same thing goes for this one perfect so before i go let's just check on my four-year-old here see how she's doing how are you doing meadow oh look at that look at that you're doing really really good so what I want you to do, Meadow, is take this one off too. You see this one right here? You can actually take this one off and this one off. These two. Get a little bit, a little, little more. Yeah? Cool. Yep. Good job. And take this little one off right here. Yeah? Perfect. Keep going. Good job. Okay, so that will be everything for this video. This is the first maintenance that you want to do on your tomato plants. And once again, look for the video that will come out in a couple of weeks and we'll do the next set of maintenance. So remember, do like and subscribe to our channel. 
and make sure you hit that notification bell so you see every single time when we upload a video. Definitely, you guys, check out our website at everything-homemade.com. All my heirloom garden seeds and my Everything Stevia cookbook is on there and all cookbooks coming will be on there for purchase. You can also take a look at our culture line. So we have whole wheat sourdough starter culture, brown rice sourdough starter culture. We also have Greek yogurt and buttermilk cultures which are also your mesophilic and thermophilic cultures for cheese making. So if you would like to check that out do so head to the website and if you got any questions just let me know so for right now enjoy your maintenance on your tomato plants and meadow guess what we'll see them on the next video because I'm not going to be doing this again with you you bet you will you are like my little garden helper aren't you yeah yeah yeah, you're doing such a good job. I'm gonna come help you now, okay? Yeah. I done all these and then and then all that. Yeah, you're doing such a good job. Are you looking forward to eating big red tomatoes? Yes, I have. Uh, my bees are gonna bound to vine. <laughs>